What up, this your boy Boston. Welcome back to the channel, man. Today we at Mr. Feed the Fish Fish Room. We finally finna give you guys a full tour of this place, so stick around. You're not gonna want to miss it. All right, man, it's your boy, man. Finally, we back. We're gonna start over here. This 20 long, I got some fryer eyes. I got five of them in there. It's uh, three females and two males. Picture of them right there. That's what the male's gonna look like. Probably end up donating these guys to Boss Aquatics, man, because he already got something going over there. So he got the real setup for breeding. I'm just uh, a hobbyist, man. I just like to pretty much just keep fish. And we move over to this tank right here. I just got some uh some red shrimp in there and some rummy nose tetras. This Java moss, man, it, it's uh <laughs> it's taking off, man. It didn't took over. It started off as a little piece and now it's plentiful. But the rummy nose is looking real good, man. Full red nose. Need to get them breed. We got the the super red dragon flower horns in here. Some of them nice and big. I got I got some of them, you know, at the fish swap like three months ago. And then I got the smaller ones probably about a month ago or so. A little quarry cats down there, the salt and peppers. Sandblasting sand too, man, just so people know. Yeah, it look nice. Sandblasting sand. You know, I'm just trying different stuff with different fish, really. Hopefully, man, they can, they can survive together because everybody always say you can't put flower horns together, so... We, we trying something different over here. I'm not really sure the name of these. That's why I got the picture there. So you guys can see what they're going to look like when they get bigger. Got a female back there holding. He's starting to show some nice color, though. He definitely starting to color up. We got the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful discus tank. Yeah, this is my favorite tank for sure that you got. Yeah. Beautiful discus tank. And we got the, the glow light tetras in there. And we got the the neon tetras. Nice clown loach. Then we got the uh, super red calico plecos in there. You can get a good shot on them. I'm not sure where the male is. He He's somewhere in there. But the discus, man, they doing good. And then I got the, the fire eel in there. Just trying something different, you know. Just putting fish together to see see how the other fish react to it, see how they all do together. And you don't see discus with eels and you know what I mean? So we just trying out something different. Can't be like everybody else in the hobby, man. You gotta do different stuff. We got the hospital tank down here. That discus was like it had white poop, so I got him in there. I'm treating him with some medication. This is another hospital tank. The bass, that pike, and then the, the giant grommy. That's a gold giant grommy. They all had ick too. So I'm just treating them, feeding them good. You know what I mean? They look nice and healthy, though. They're nice and healthy. I feed them. So, I mean, they all eating. They've been in the hospital probably about three weeks now. So, I mean, they should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and move that giant grommy over with the with the rays. Yeah, he looking good. He didn't put on a lot of size since I got him. He was probably about two and a half inches when I got him. He got to be at least what about five inches now. At least getting big. Then that little pike back there, the little tiger pike. I mean, I had him for man, I had him for about six months, and he ain't really. He really haven't put on a lot of size, so he must be a slow grower. He got to be a slow grower because all I do is feed him. We got the Oscar up here. That's my buddy right there, man. He got a Final Oscar. nice personality. Cool. It's like, I think it's a, a mix between the, the black tiger and then an albino. Yeah, he got them black fans. Because, right? Yeah, exactly. I just like the I like the color of them. So then we got the this pike up here. It was sold to me as a marble gar, but 
I personally don't believe it's a marble guard. That's a. I did some research on it, and it said it was a, a pike. So. You got this thing right here, though. Oh, I got a couple of. That's just some, just feeder guppies, and then if you look close. Oh, I see it. That's that. Uh, I got a flounder in there. Yeah. yeah. Freshwater flounder. There's two of them in there, but they they just stay in the substrate all day. They don't really, they don't really come out. You know what I mean? So. There's some plants in there just to keep the nitrates and ammonia and all that down, you know. Yeah, it looks good though. I like how you got escape. Then we got these cichlids. That's a, a dragon blood down here. This guy here, I don't know what that is. I just bought him because he looked good. Well, he was smaller, but he was showing some some nice color, so I, I end up getting him. And now he just he colored up, so. Then we got the the scarlets in the back, and they always breeding. So, I mean, that female's she holding right now. I think those are Lake Victorians, right? Yeah, Lake Victorians. Yeah. yeah. But that male, man, he is beautiful, man. Yeah, he, is. he is a sight to see. Then over here we got the 125 with this mean and nasty peacock, man. Anybody know what kind of peacock that is? Man, comment down below. Let me know. He is mean and nasty. <laughs> then we got that big cigar shark. We did a rescue. We got the cigar shark. And we got this clown knife on a rescue. So, I mean, I don't only buy fish, but I rescue fish. I got that red tail cat. I had him probably about, I got him back in like, August. He was probably about three to four inches. And now he just, man, I mean, he just, yeah, <laughs> he is massive. He yeah, is massive. The size of mine. He is beautiful. Yeah, he is. Hopefully we can breed him. Hopefully we can get him breeding, man. That's hopefully I got a, whatever you don't have, you got a male or female, hopefully I got the opposite, man, so we can, you know, do a little breeding. But my advice to anybody is do not get a red tail cat if you don't have the space to house them because they grow fast. And six months, I mean, he might not look that big on camera, but in person, I mean, he, in six months, he grew, I don't know what, maybe 10 inches in six months. And over here, we got the, we got the stingrays in here. Black Diamond Hybrid. Then we got the, the Motaro Hybrid. Then we got a Datnoid here. I just got that Datnoid. So, he, he you know, Datnoids are, they hide a lot. You know what I mean? Their personality is different. So, they, they kind of like puffers once they get, once they get adjusted to the tank and the, the foot traffic down here, then... They'll start to come out more. I got the little Datnoid back there. Yeah, I see him. The little four bar. The tiger. He's starting to come out more because when I got him, he just, I mean, all he would do is just hide up by the filter. So just over time, they start to show their they true colors. So you got that bicer back there. The bicer back there looking good. Looking I got him about. He was probably about three inches when I got him, maybe like three months ago. I got that bicer. He was about three inches. He, he a good six inches now, maybe seven. So then we got them. Uh, what is those silver dollars, man? We just we didn't get no. Hey, we didn't get no red hooks or nothing. You know, we didn't get no uh, special silver dollars. We just got the regular ones. Just to have some traffic in there. You know what I mean? Just to get the fish moving. Now I got this albino arowana. I just got him about... I got him at the last fish swap. So. A couple weeks? Yeah, a couple weeks I had him. I plan on putting the stingrays in here. And a couple gars. Just because I feel like stingrays and gars... 
you know, like kind of, I guess they just make good tank mates, you know, because you got your bottom swimmers and then you got your top swimmers. You know what I mean? So that's the that's the, the plans for that. You got like a, I got that 55. It's, it don't it don't necessarily need to be resealed, but just so I'm happy, I'm going to go ahead and get it resealed. Get a shot of that male, though. He out in the front. He looking real good. The discus tank is being filtered by that uh, this 20 gallon long sump. So, I mean, it's crystal, crystal, crystal clear. There go that male, super red calico. Oh, yeah, see him now. Yeah, this tank is like crystal clear, like drinkable. Yeah, it's drinkable. Let's talk about your, your air and what you got going on here. We got the AP20 right there. We got what, about maybe 12 to 15 feet of PVC up there, and then we got airlines running throughout the whole fish room. So if you want to run your fish room off of one air pump, they got the AP20, the AP40, the 60, the 80, and the 100. I got this tank over here that I got uh, from Boss Aquatics. You know what I'm saying? I had I had a, a whole 10-gallon rack over here with like 12 10-gallons. And then uh, I ended up trading Boss Aquatics for for the 72 bow front. In the future, we're going to paint that stand, get the tank resealed, and then we'll probably end up moving our discus over to this bow front just to give them some more space and then I, I eventually get some more discus for that tell the people where they can find you at man let the people know that you know man, you man it's official it's official man y'all can find me on youtube man midwest aquatics we'll put a link in the description down below so y'all can find yeah, me man i need y'all to go through subscribe to my man go show him love blow his channel up man and you say you're gonna start dropping videos i'm gonna start dropping videos man i work a lot i work a lot so I'll be dropping videos as much as I can. You know, that's that's all I can that's all I can promise. You know what I mean? I do what I can when I can, but between family and work, I still do have to take care of the fish. So I'll let y'all see what I do down here when I'm down here in the fish room. You know, I'll I'll start recording, man, so y'all can stay in tune with me. I can stay in tune with y'all, man. Make sure y'all comment, let me know y'all out there watching. We're going to go ahead and end the tour portion of this video, man. If you guys want to see more, make sure you click the link down below. We're going to be uploading a feeding video, pretty much him going through and feeding all the fish down here in the fish room and just doing some more talking and more explaining about what he got going on. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you did, make sure you guys give this video a big like. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And make sure you turn on your post notifications so to be notified when I drop these bangers. And uh, you got anything you want to say to the people? Tell them to tap in, hey, huh? Tap in for sure. Tap sure in. Tap in, man. Links in the description. Top link in the description, man. Click that link. Go show my boy some love, man. Go let him know that he came from the Boss Aquatics family. Y'all, y'all already rock with him anyway, man. Mr. Feed the Fish. Everybody go spam Mr. Feed the Fish in the comment section on his fish video, man. So I holla at you guys.